Okay, welcome back to my channel. So, you might notice my voice is a bit muffled. That's because I am using my school laptop and it does not really have a microphone. But, you know, oh well. I was thinking... So currently, right now, I'm waiting for a video that I just filmed on my phone to upload to my computer, and it's probably going to take a while with lag and everything. It's not a very good video, so don't get your hopes up, but I thought in the meanwhile, I might as well go ahead and Photoshop something. I have not done this in a while, so I don't know exactly what I'm out to do, but we'll find something. What I usually do is just scroll through my random pictures from who knows where try to find something that might look good. I mean, I have Trump here, that's always a good place to start. There's also, there's Pink Guy, favorite channel of mine, by the way. Um, let's see, got a few pictures like this I've taken before, be interesting. Okay, tell you what, what sounds interesting? This is usually the hardest part, in my opinion, trying to figure out something to do that's actually fun. Because otherwise you get something like this. No one wants a red and black avocado. Okay, where did that go? There, somewhere there. Okay, yeah. Let's see. I made this, like, last year, I think? That's don't ask, but, hmm, I am in the mood for, um, how about something to do with, um, team trees, I know I already made a team trees thing, but, you know, the more the better, let's see, Google, Google is always helpful. Tell you what, let's get the actual logo this time, so that would be Team Trees. And we're gonna go to Images. See if I can find the official logo. Team Trees logo. Alright, this works. This does not look like a PNG, but easy to fix. Oh, it, it is a PNG. Um, interesting. Okay. Team Trees logo. Looks good. And... Now the question is, what are we going to stick that on? So, I have my picture from last time. Uh, somewhere in here. Team Trees. Team Trees, that is. I don't know, somewhere probably in a different folder. Okay, so for now, I'm going to look through my pictures some more. Or, you know what? Let's just go to Photoshop. Sorry, this is a bit slow. It takes a while to get started. Now, where did I put this? Team trees. By the way, um, I was starting my book cover for my second book. I wrote it this summer and never got around to editing it, but hopefully I will release it sometime soon, hopefully before 2020, so keep an eye out for that. But anyways, oh come on, it's an index, this, I hate, okay. Indexes are the worst, I'm just gonna say that. You can literally do nothing with an index. So, maybe if we, can't create a new layer there, so try something out here. New. If it loads. Let me check the status of my importing photos. Or not. Okay, that works. Default. One and out default. I can always change it later. All right. Um, we're gonna unlock this. It's always easier to work without a locked layer. I don't know if it's gonna let me do this never tried this. We'll see. If you wanna... So right now I have 
this little handy tool so I can build my favorites called the clone stamp tool and basically what it does is you hold the alt key down and click on the subject that you want to use and it uses that it uses that as like as like a reference point so when you go onto a new document if it works hopefully well hope what it was supposed to do is copy that design into where I wanted to go it's an index layer so that's not working so what we are going to do is I'm gonna delete this and gonna try to save that once more. Sometimes it's easier if you actually go to the site it's from. And if this works at least. Team trees. Logo to SVD. Nope, I want an image. Maybe instead of this, let's try a new one sometimes. That is the best way to go. Hey, it already has a Wikipedia page for you guys. Okay, let's just cross our fingers. Hope this does not turn out the same way as the other one. And if everything goes right, that will give us Team Trees icon, is what I named it. Nice. Notice how it's not called Index Layer, so that's obviously pretty good. Um don't want this filling up the whole layer, so we're gonna move this onto my new document. I'm gonna try scaling it down a bit, we can always change that later. Right, let's put that right in the middle there. And now we have this big blind canvas. What do we do with that? Okay, so this thing was kind of like a horizon here. Um, maybe do something with that. So, I'm improvising here, so <laughs> no idea. but. Gonna take a line. Always bad with lines. And that is not on the horizon. We're gonna fix that right now. Hold up. Gonna need to zoom in a lot. A line? Oh, I don't know if it's gonna let me. Hey, there. Getting something done. That's always nice. Okay, and now we have a line going across. We're gonna need to erase it in the front there. But a big line. Gonna. Yes. How about yeah, let's do. Now underneath this we have a large space. Which could be some sort of ground. And being ground. Maybe fill it with some sort of Okay, rasterize the shit. Wait, nope, don't want to do that. Control all C, control all C, control Okay, there we go. Yeah, so I'm going to want to create a new shape here, actually. Maybe... Where'd that go? Here. Rectangle too. Or even easier, just create a new layer. And now, in that area, hopefully it will let... There we go. That is a bad shape. I look more like. All right, that worked. Now we're gonna want this under the line, and maybe under this too. This way, we know where the trees are. We can erase it. And notice that this layer is still selected, so it's only erasing on this layer. But. Drag that around on the trees a little bit, maybe. And now if we put this on top, that looks terrible. So and it's okay if we go over a little bit. I want to narrow down the space mostly. Okay, why the frick am I doing this? There is so much easier way to do this. Okay, basically we go to here and deselect that now. And there's this whole white area, and now that this layer is selected, I think magic bonds. This basically detects color in a layer, and since this is white, actually I don't want it contiguous, this will select all the white, and we can simply delete that and add to PNG. So now that it's on top of the layer, we have the trees. We still have that line in the middle though, we don't really need that anymore. So, 
There we go. Um, no, normally I like that green color because it is team trees after all, but if we're making this horizon, it might as well be the sun. Or something like that. So, we take this. This time we want it contiguous. We don't want the branches to go the same way. And this time, we can go to image, adjustments, key and saturation. Turn it to a nice shade of... What do you guys want? Wait no, I'm talking to myself. This is the recording. Okay. Uh the sun looks like maybe kinda of up that saturation. There we go. New tree. Actually, maybe a little more of a What if we made this? Okay. That's good, I guess. Pretty decent. So these green gaps that we don't want, so we just delete those, delete, delete, delete. Okay, and now in that white space, we just put a layer in. This is not a very efficient way to do it, but you know, I'm gonna stick with what I have. gonna color around here so we all that space on the layer underneath there we have it team trees okay um i mean obviously we're gonna need some sort of sky right I mean, this is way without sky so we have this layer and behind it we have our black layer so if we take that away we can really put anything we want here But give me one sec. Okay. So, as I was saying, how about actually no, I won't I won't we're gonna make this ourselves instead of normally we would have I would have probably gone to Google just because it was easier. But, you know what, might as well make a gradient. I, like, never do gradients, but we'll see, I guess. We're gonna put a big rectangle here. We do not want it to be yellow, we want a gradient. So, I'm figuring this out as I go, but there we go. Nice gradient, we can change the colors now, hopefully. Should be able to, at least. How about... We want it to contrast with the sun, we're just gonna look kinda trash. Ooh, a rainbow. Nah. Oh, two with a simple two color. Three color even. Okay, so now we can adjust the colors with clicking on this. That work. We want a nice purple blue gradient maybe. Red at the bottom is nice. So I make this more of a purplish blue. To go through. Oh, that that was very nice. That's, okay, that's pretty good. And now we just goosh this over a little bit, narrow down the red part. So we're gonna have this on the side because the rectangle goes down to the bottom of the page, which is why the red here doesn't do much. So nothing on this side really matters. So we're gonna. Move this up, maybe. This blue color would normally be nice, but I feel like it's a bit too light with the purple we have, so we're gonna take that real dark now. And we have our purple, and we have our red. There. That's a nice blend, don't you think? Maybe we'll lighten this up a bit. Double click apparently. There we go. Cube trees. I like it. Nice. Huh? No, this bothers me. We're gonna put a small 
small circle around here, maybe. Right behind there. Oops, a circle. I want it to be, a, be, be behind this one, too. So, we're going to get a circle. And I think if you hold the shift key down, it's supposed to stay a circle and not go into the oval. Cut that out here. Pretty big. As for the fill, we don't want that. We don't want this. How about start off with that? And we really don't need blue this time. So we're gonna change that to more of a orange, maybe. Got a little white in there. Drive it to the edge of the screen. And this time, I don't want a linear. How about a radial? Because this is a circle, right? Now we'll have. Yep. I want yellow on the inside so it matches up. Okay, where did it go? There. We have a nice corona. Put this on. really see what I'm doing here. So if we're gonna do this, we're gonna take this. Move it out a little bit. And what we're trying what we're gonna try to do is remove the yellow from before. If this doesn't work we can always undo this. But take all that yellow and we're just gonna delete that. And I remember the yellow from before, that's not part of the corona I just made, that is part of this layer. We take that out, and voila, we have ourselves a nice, a nice glowing sun. I mean, could be better, so what we're gonna do is image, oh come on, I can't do human sun. oh, rasterized shape. That's right, rasterized, rasterized layer, so now it's just Normal air. Now we can heat the saturation. Make this a bit more. Ooh, that's nice, but not exactly what we're going for. There we go. It's a bit brighter. Want saturation pretty high, too high. We want it a bit lighter. Maybe. It really pop. Okay. Um. You know what, the sky's looking kind of bare, so I'm gonna go in there with the um, paintbrush. I have never done this before, but I guess we'll see. First, we need to rasterize that layer, of course. And now, we get a tiny brush of a little stars. You know what, that looks like that was kind of bad. You know why it looks bad? It's because the stars look soft, we don't want them to be soft. And for that, go zero smoothing. And that way, it's very different compared to, say, that. You can't really see now, but if you zoom in. So, to make it even better, now that we have smoothing, zero, and we have flow. Flow, we probably want to keep it 100. Don't know what that is, but it seems important. No. Maybe, you know what, we'll do what I did last time. We go, I think I have a file somewhere that I made. Maybe. Just search for stars. Some stars at night. How about that? Let's see what this is. Okay. Please open. Please, please, please. This is gonna be long at this rate, but maybe get those stars. I 
Okay, look, this is gonna be wild. You know what we're gonna do? Instead of waiting for this to open, how about Photoshop file open now? Stars. Nope. stars at night. There we go. Let's see what this is. Okay, that's pretty good. And now, oh frick, did I, what did I do? Okay, we're back. Just glitching out. So what we're gonna do here is go back here. On top of this, I'm gonna stick this, except blending options. We want this to be Nope, that is not what I want. Let's see. How do I do this? Um... Don't really know what I'm doing here, but... You know, we'll see. Yeah, that looks pretty nice, actually. Maybe... Maybe if we want to tell you what. If I do this, and it's dark, and you see the stars. Okay, I guess that works, yeah. Okay, um, but I'm also going to want to make this contrast a lot more than, or a lot less, because there are stars. Get that brightness up to how many stars I want. A bit much. Maybe like there. Pretty good. As for the brown, let's see. And also, we're gonna want some shadow, right? So what I tend to do for shadow, I don't know if this is gonna work here, but there's this tool called Burn. This little hand thing here. I'm gonna take the size up a little bit. I need to select the right layer. Oops. Is it this layer? Yes. No, you can see. Gives it that burnt effect. That really, I think, personally, makes it stand out a lot. Kind of like, I guess, a makeshift shadow. Also gives it some depth. But, you know, on top of that, how about we put a drop shadow? And that kind of gives it that its own shadow, but don't want it that much. How about we just ooh, we can also give it an outer glow. And, I mean, if we do an outer glow, we might want to change the color a little bit, so, you know, green might be nice. A little dark green. Okay, there. That kind of stands out. So maybe we want to... You know what? If we want to play around with this a little bit, we go to Filter Gallery. See if there's anything we can do. Oh. Hey, want to stick with the colored ones? Because I want to keep the colors that I already have. Hey, this one might actually be cool. Let's see how that looks. Nah, I like it better earlier. So we're just going to make it trilzy and undo. One of the best things about Photoshop. You can just undo whatever you want. Uh, texture, maybe. Ink outline. Sure, bring dark intensity down, light intensity up. Maybe. Nah, that's too much. How about instead of that, we just put a brightness contrast up the contrast. We have pretty much the same effect, except it's more adjustable. So if I just want to say that much. We got it. And 
say I'm gonna say horizon to be a bit darker so you know it turns out. What we're gonna do is we go to the brown. Hey, we can fill it in. Or, you know, just take the easy way out. When in doubt, the easy way is not possible. You know, fill it down. We don't need that. We'll leave it. Now we have a big black space. We don't. It doesn't matter. Um, we can go to. This isn't important course, but you know, it annoys me a little bit, so we're going to go to file, or edit, I think, don't know, again, just improvising here, layer, however I do this, references maybe, nope, okay, never mind then, too lazy to find that right now. No, we have this color space. You know what? The brown looked good at first, but you know, this is the team trees. I want it to represent the trees. So what if we put again don't know what I'm doing here, but gradient. The gradient over. You know. Oh dang, no, 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 no. Not what I wanted. How about... There we go. And now for this... Okay, honestly, I don't know if this works, but... Okay, never mind. It doesn't work. What did I do? Control Z. Good old Control Z. Just go to adjustments, view saturation, make that. No. A little bit greener. What's that? A little bit of green in our lives. Okay. Nice and green. Maybe have the saturation down. You know, because it's night. Nice. Have the stars up. Don't want it too bright. Here we go. Maybe bring the light down a little bit more. It's good. Now, maybe if we take a filter gallery on this, give it some texture. Probably should have done this before the burns, but, you know, it's okay. Don't want too much texture. Alright, you know what? I can't find anything that really fits, so... You know, I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna... I can just adjust this image more. Maybe adjustments, desaturation. It's a bit dull, so... Might as well. There you have it. Just I mean, they have to change the canvas size, but I am lazy. And when you're lazy, nipping to it is the way to go. There you have it. I spent 
spend way too much time on that. But, you know, here we go. And that should be enough today for today. So, I guess, see you around. Wow, that's been a long time. 25 minutes. Bye.